welcome to another episode of Lori's Learning Journey. Today we ask the question, when is innovation not helpful? Now, there are those of you out there that think that innovation is great no matter what, right? You're thinking Apple, you're thinking Disney, you're thinking AI. Okay, I hear you. Cool innovation is always cool, but here's the reality. You only get credit for being innovative when your customers say that you have done an innovation. Let me give you an example. There's a client we work with, it's a window company, and they created a window that would automatically clean itself with rainwater. Really cool, right? Yeah, I mean, that's amazing. Problem. There was no way of indicating that your windows had been clean. So how much value did the client or the customer actually experience? None, because they just looked out the window and went, okay, clean window. So there wasn't anything that said, hey, by the way, your windows cleaned itself today, hello, hello. So I don't experience any value from that innovation, even though it's an awesome innovation. Same window company, they had a, an innovation person that had come from Boeing. And while this person was at Boeing, they got all these innovative ideas from boat companies. Because what's really good in a small space? Boat companies. They have all these different like nicks and crannies and cubby holes and all this kind of stuff. So she was getting a lot of advice and a lot of information about innovation. So she was like, I'm a rock star with innovation. Well, truly, she was, but she was a rock star based on what people valued in small spaces. So when she came to the window company, she was like, what are people using today? They're using smartphones. So she and the team came up with this really cool way of using your smartphone to open and close your windows. Sounds really great, right? Wrong. Do you know how often people actually open and close all of their windows? Two to three times a year a year kids so even though this was a really fancy innovation and the customer knew about it not a lot of value because you're not using it every day so innovation is only innovation if the customer experiences value and here's how you can try this at home maybe you have a company and you have something really cool that your product or service does that people aren't paying attention to you can get credit for being more innovative by just doing a better job of communicating that service or product or feature. Because now you've created circumstances where people, oh wow, now I'm experiencing the value. I mean, think about your software. There's a whole bunch of stuff that Microsoft Word and Excel, etc. you don't even know how to use it, right? If all of a sudden you're like, wow, this can help me make leasing decisions, you would feel like, wow, this is really innovative, even though that functionality was probably already in the software already. So I want you to think about when it comes to innovation and when you're trying to be innovative or clever or cool don't think about trying to be apple you can be apple if that's who you are that's awesome but apple was apple because apple created innovation that created a really positive and valuable customer experience so what do you have at your disposal just laying around stuff that you're already doing that someone could create more value from or experience more value from i bet you find some stuff that's all for today. Bye.